Hi there, this is Kevin once again. A very warm welcome to Hack Announce. And guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can deploy a Python script online on a cloud so that you can run it for 24/7. So, guys, without being more said, let's get started. So guys in the previous videos if you know we have created a IoT with Firebase series in which we have created a python script for sending a push notification to our IoT app the app is here so the script was this and this script should be run for run my PC for 24 7 so that I can send a push notification but it's not possible for running my PC 24 7 for this shitty script and for that we can directly run it on a cloud and that will be for free for one one year minimum it will be for free so let's see how to do it. First of all, let me show you the script. So I just run, I will just run this script and what this script is doing here. I'm having this database over here in this and this script is just checking this fire sensor status variable. If the value of this variable is one, then this script will send the push notification to this Android app. Let me show you. I'm just running this script and as I run this script, you can see here it shows that data is zero it means it's just showing that uh, this value of the sensor status is zero now if i minimize this app because as we can only get a notification if the app is minimized it's our condition and here if i press zero to one you can see in a real time it shows data one and here in this android app i got this notification so this whole thing is done by this script only and here the case is that script should be running 24 7 and for that i need to uh, on my pc for 20 24 7 is not possible because we need a high internet connectivity every time and we need to we are having a very power loss so we can we will deploy it on a google cloud console and let's see how to do that so i'm just closing this script for now so that uh, i don't because currently I, I don't want to run this script and here this is our database in which the value is one i will directly change it to zero and let's see what we to do so guys first thing what we to do is first of all in google Google type Google Cloud Console and that will be the first link and you need to log in with your email ID and after it a link will open like this and here you need to click on sign up for a free trial as you click for sign up for a free trial here you need to create account here just uh, select your country and click and click agree and continue after that there will be a form in which you need to add your whole details and last thing is uh, here you need to uh, type that account type what what is your account type either it can be a business individual here you can choose individual what is your text and tax is under unregistered individual here you need to add your pen address or if you are having 10 you can add these are optional no need directly here put address line like you can put anything here i'll put 1c3 and then here we can put a city like here i can put bsr and city again bsr and then all things are so this is the contact number i am just blurring it and now the thing is at last you need to pay it here you need to click on pay so you it will be just detected two rupees for one year and that's not a big deal it's just detecting it so that you it will be confirmed that you are a well-known user of the google so two rupees is not a big thing and here you can put a debit card i was suggest to put a debit card because if you put a credit card then amount will be get detected automatically so you can put a uh, debit card if you are from india you can use hdfc access i have already created account in which i use the hdfc you can use that also so that's the thing now let me redirect to the account which i have created so these are the simple steps you need to do and then click the start my trial that's it now what will happen once you are done with this you will be redirected to this type of dashboard and in this dashboard what you need to do first thing is you need to click over here you will be seeing an option for creating a new project and directly here uh, for you guys i will create a new new project now here you will see something like this here you need to type a project name so i am typing python underscore youtube because i am doing this for you guys only and uh, location non-organization and click on create and uh, okay the invalid name has an invalid characters so okay i got it so it should be like something like this and that's fine now click on create and that's it 
so underscore is not allowed here okay i got it so guys after clicking on that create button here you need to select the project that you have created so i have created this python youtube i will directly click on this and select it now here i am getting this dashboard now what you need to do here directly click on this navigation menu it doesn't matter if you are not seeing a dashboard here that's not the issue directly click on this navigation menu and in this navigation menu click on this compute engine and in this select vm instance wait uh, here and directly click on this first for and then we can create a vm instance so now here compute region is it's showing compute engine is getting ready and it may take a minute or more so it might take time depends on your cpu speed and the connection speed so guys let me tell you what we are going to do here until this is compute engine is getting ready here we will create a vm instance that will means we will create a simple virtual machine in the cloud that will be a linux based only and if you don't know we linux command don't don't get worry i will let you know step by step so click on this create button now here now once you click on the create button a vm instance it will ask for a name of the instance so i will type the instance name will be instance one now the here machine type will be here now you can select any machine i'm just selecting one v now here you can change it from debian to i will suggest to change it to new ubuntu so from day one here i have suggest to change it to ubuntu latest ubuntu you can use here i am using ubuntu 18.4 and size will be 10 gb 10 gb is more than enough for a linux machine that's not an issue and after that click on create only as you click on create now it's just showing creating an instance and these things will take time you need to be a patient and now the instance is creating and let's see so guys now our instance has been created successfully and it's already started so if you want to stop it you can directly click and stop it over here you can stop instance if you are not using it because it will cost you now otherwise so directly click on sss connect uh, click on this sss it will connect you to our terminal login and it's just opening now i have clicked on this sss login yeah so it's just connecting to our that virtual machine that we have created so that's bam guys we have successfully got a remote access of our instance that we have created in cloud now here we can type any command that we want like ls everything will be work like if you want to direct pwd you can check the present working directory now the thing is what we need to do first of all we need to install something here and the thing is first need to check the where the python 3 is over here or not so as you type python i think python is uh, okay you have installed python 3 so you need to you type python 3 over here yeah python 3 is already installed so that's bam we can directly exit from this python 3 now what we need to do first of all here we will create a folder and for creating a folder i will type mkdir and here i will create a folder named python okay now in this python for i think vim is also not installed so i need to install vim so first let's install vim sudo apt get install and here we need to install vim over here vim is a text editor and the vim is already installed that's fine now if the vim is not installed you need to install it manually now here what we need to do first of all here i need to open vim and here i will type the file name like push dot py uh, what this will do this is just open a file in a vim vim is a text editor which opens in a console now here after that here you need to type press i i is a i button in your keyboard so this thing will be changed from command mode to the insert mode now here you can insert anything and how you need to insert first of all go to this this is our file which we have created now open this so i am you can open it through a text any text editor that you want so now file has been opened directly copy paste this whole code and you can get the if you want this code for checking the sending the push notification you can get it from my previous videos and i can send you the link in the description that's not a big deal now where is our that console i think yeah instance is there now here we need to paste it so for pasting here directly you press ctrl v and your code will be get pasted now once the code is get pasted now press escape key be sure listen what i am doing and then colon and here you need to type wq so it means write and quit you are writing this file and quitting from this vm and that's it 
now we are done with saving this code to our virtual machine now what we need to do we need to execute it but guys before executing the thing is a Pyre-based library should be installed previously because we are using a Pyre-based library you can see in this we are using Pyre-based library and we are using pusher push notification so let's install and for this installation first of all the pip should be installed previously let's see whether the pip is installed pip and hyphen v yeah pip is not installed that's good now we need to install pip let me check whether the pip 3 is there if pip 3 is there then we don't need to install pip yeah both all the things are not installed so it's showing the command how to install this so let's install i'll just control shift c uh, sorry uh, control c and control v over here and uh, paste and press enter so are you a root it's asking that i need to put a sudo before it the sudo is for doing any super user if you want to install it then you need to press sudo now it's showing unable to locate package python pip python 3 pip okay that's not an issue we will directly type python pip and let's try again sorry uh here i need to type python sorry for i am doing these silly mistakes and unable to locate python pip so now we are unable to install python pip over here and the reason is because the machine is new it's not updated so first of all we need to update it sudo apt cat update and we need to type this command for updating this machine and after this uh, actually this is just updating the repos of this machine after this updating is done i am damn sure i will be able to install pip let me show you i will directly type this python pip and see the magic guys i am able to install the python pip now and the thing was the repos was previous repos was not updated that's why i am unable to install the python pip now the python pip is installing we are installing python pip because python pip is a package of python which helps in installing the library so because we need to install pyre based library and that again pusher push notification library that i have used in this uh i've used this in my pc you need to do the same configuration that you have done in your pc while creating this script that's not a big deal and, and it's just going on it's taking time because pip is a package of 243 mb yeah that's done now our pip is installed now let's see pip hyphen v whether the pip is installed yeah pip is installed we got it now here we need to type pip install here we need to install pyrebase so here we have installed pyrebase pyrebase is a library for firebase wrapper so that we can easily connect with the firebase database that i am using uh, from which we are fetching the values and later i need to install pusher push notification so i'll just copy this it's too big yeah and sorry the instance is over here and i type pip install and control v so that will not take much time and installing that library so that's bam now we have come a very long way we have set up the whole environment now the only thing we need to do is we just need to run this script so let's run this first of all let's check ls whether the script is over here yeah script is over here we can put cat for checking whether whether text is over in this cat is a command for checking without opening the file we can check its content yeah script is having the course that's fine so guys now the code is in our push.py now we just need to run this file and for running this file here the command will be different not like like python run uh, run push.py what we need to do here we need to use no hub now why i'm using no hub first of all I'll tell you this by using this command if even i close this terminal this script will be run forever that's a thing and here we need to type python and then push.py and that's it so it's just ignoring no hub and all those stuff now our python script is running and if you want let i can also show you here i can try with i'm having this database over here it's having the value one so guys in our emulator here you can see we are already having multiple notification i'll just clear it so that i can show you if i press the value from it i just minimize this also so that yeah you'll be having a like if i press zero 
nothing will happen now if i press one so now as i put the value from zero to one you can see i got a real time notification on my app so it means the script is working in the background and where the script is working the script is working over this instance over here so now even i close this instance there will be no issue our whole app will over all script will be working live for 24 hour as i close this instance and stay changes you made and leave it and now what we can do here i'll just show you some other other functionality like if i go to this compute engine compute engine if you don't want to run this instance because this instance will take your credits like you got for the first time you will got around twenty thousand from google and it will be for 365 days if your script will be run for 24 7 your credits will be used there so if you want to close you can directly select all instance and click on stop and if you are having multiple instances directly click on specific so guys that's it for this video if you like please don't forget to like subscribe and comment if you are having any query please try to comment out i will try to sort it out as soon as possible so i uploaded this video late because i was just uh, not feeling well and i was busy with some projects so i will try to upload next video on sunday only so bye bye have a nice day